Hey, so it's been a few weeks since my last video, but uh, that was because there's a lot of construction going on in my house. Um, but I wanted to talk a little bit about the Will Coxon book, which I just finished, and also this over here, the Tommy Igo Lifetime Warm Up, which is what I'm working on now. So, Will Coxon book is done. Um, everything went okay. I gave myself a week to finish the last few. Um, the last ones were pretty difficult and the quality of them weren't that great compared to the beginning, but it's still pretty good and I really wanted to move on to the next thing since it took two weeks longer than I expected. So I'm pretty happy with it. Definitely a lot of mistakes that I can hear, especially dynamics. So dynamics are really an interesting thing that I need to continue to work on. One of the main issues is double stroke rolls. First of all, my double stroke rolls are not that great to begin with. They're pretty good, but, um, when I'm trying to do a crescendo with them, all that happens is the first note gets louder of each hand, but then the second note is quieter and just sounds uneven. And also it kind of becomes like a single stroke roll. So I don't really know how to fix that. I think maybe the snapping thing, like try to snap it up for the upstroke, just try to get the second note a little bit louder. Um, that's the only way I can think of right now to fix it, but I'll try different things. And um, yeah, the other thing is drags my drags are not as consistent as my slams so that's another thing that i noticed just trying to get those drags to be more consistent all the way through is another thing that i would like to continue to work on but other than that it's pretty good um definitely a good book i might go through it again maybe try to work the speed up a little bit but i'm really glad that i did it at a slower speed i wanted to first do it at 180 but i ended up doing it at 160 and then when i was going through the beginning of the book i thought maybe it was too slow but um, when we got higher up there, it was getting really, really hard to play. So I'm talking about eighth notes at 160. So what is that? Quarter notes at 80. So something like that. So it's pretty fast, but it's not like too fast. But at the end, it was definitely at my max speed. Like some of the parts were just like really, really hard to play. So I don't know if I'll go through these again and try to keep the speed the same for each solo. But I definitely would like to try this again in the future. Try to play it a little bit faster. Because it was really it was really useful and it was pretty fun. So, there you go. So this is done. Time to move on to the next thing. Alright, so the next thing is this here. Lifetime warm-up. So, I was also working on this this week. So, I finished this book a couple weeks ago. And then, uh, last week, did this. So, I have one more week with this. The lifetime warm-up. So, there's a beginner, intermediate, and advanced lifetime warm-up i watched all the video on monday and then i started working on each individual pattern and that's what i did this week or last that's what i did last week so i worked on each individual pattern last week and then um what i'm doing this week is i'm just going to try to do the whole solo or i'm going to try to do the whole lifetime warm-up and i've seen the beginner and intermediate one and i was working on the intermediate one when i was in high school which is why i wanted to go through this again but what I think I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to do the advanced warm-up. But it's too fast for me right now. And if I do play it at full speed, it's probably going to be really sloppy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the advanced solo, which has all, or the advanced lifetime warm-up, which has all of the um, different patterns. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it into a DAW and I'm going to slow it down. And I'm just going to bring it up maybe by like 1% at a time until I get it up to a comfortable speed. So that's what I'm doing this week. And I know it's probably going to take more than a week to go through this whole thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get as far as I can, really focus on it this week. And then I'm just going to use it as my kind of warm up going forward. So after this, I'm going to be doing the Alan Dawson uh, warm up. And I'm going to be doing that on the drum set, whereas this one I'm doing on the practice pad. So... What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be warming up with this every morning, first thing in the morning, before I move on to the Alan Dawson thing, which is my focus for the next two weeks after this week. So I'm just going to try to get as fast as I can, as solid as I can with this, and then I'm just going to use it as a warm up and try to continue to progress as I move forward. And then maybe by the end of the month or so, maybe I'll get it up to full speed. I don't know. But by the time I'm done all of these different hand rituals and hand uh, practices and solos and whatever, I'm going to try to come up with my own 
uh, warm up that I think will work best for me. And I'm going to implement that going forward. So that's the plan. So anyway, so right now, lifetime warm up is what I'm working on. I'm really noticing it's my fundamentals that still are lacking. By that I mean like basic single stroke roll could be better. Double stroke rolls can definitely be more even. Paradiddles, double paradiddles, getting my accents to work right. What I'm noticing is my left hand is starting to look a lot more like my right hand but I'm still having a little bit of trouble getting good accents with my left hand, so that's another thing. Um, and then another thing I was doing just to work on my double speed and my paradiddle speed was I was doing the I was doing the Emmanuel Caplet uh, warm up where you kind of break down the paradiddle into its like its different components, which was a really cool thing to do. Another thing that's in this uh, DVD is the check pattern, so it's like breaking down. Uh, the different patterns into smaller sections or just like smaller hand movements just so you can focus on different elements of the overall pattern which is kind of cool which is something that I've done in the past but to really be aware of what I'm doing is really helpful so anyway so what I'm going to try to do is continue with this see how far I can go hopefully I can get it up to 160 um, but what matters for me mostly is to make sure it's sounding clean and even and then I'm going to be moving on to the Alan Dawson stuff on the snare drum, which I find a little bit harder because the snare drum is a little bit weirder and less consistent for me. But that might also have to do with tuning, so I might mess with the tuning a little bit. Uh, but for now, that's the plan. So one more week of this and then moving on to the Alan Dawson ritual. <laughs> 